Hey everybody, it's me, Wildman Beats here, and this is going to be episode 61 of Assassin's Creed Origins. In last episode, we rescue the people of uh, Fayu from the Greeks as we take out the captain of, or commander of Fort Bubastos and move our way south through Huab. What's it called? Huab Gnome? Huaret Gnome? Something like that. But it's kind of the most southernmost civilized parts of Egypt. Um, but we've got a couple more locations to look at. Maybe some tombs, maybe some stone circles. Um, but anyway, thank you for coming to watch this video. I hope you enjoy. And otherwise, let's get into it. So we are here in Hermopolis, where we left off last time. Not too much here. No side quests or anything. But cool place nonetheless. But we'll keep moving south. There's more to find. Although, let's check in with the stable master. Anything special in this area? Nah. Same stuff they sell in other places. See you later, friend. It might be that they all sell the same thing and it's just a rotating stock, too. I, I have considered that possibility. Because I don't generally check more than one stable shop in the in one day you know whoa stesius olive Group. well <laughs> dang they were sinking singing hold, synchronized hold there right. <laughs> oh i thought Oh, what was that throw? So with that first guy, I thought I was gonna like Charles Barkley slam jam him down the center of this shit, but apparently not. What do we have here? Commendation from the Nomarch of Fayum. My g congratulations to the soldiers and landowners of a Decius Olive Grove. There has been a marked increase in olive oil production following recent forward thinking measures imposed upon the olive farmers. With the influx of Greek landowners and Fayum, luxury perfumes and ointments are in high demand. Production of those luxuries depends upon your olives. Thanks to the landowners' hard work, Fayum is becoming a region of culture and commerce. Prosperity for all, security for all, culture for all. Dang, this Nomart. I mean, you know, as much as I hate them, they're really trying to optimize the entire region. I mean, we get messages from the Nomark in this entire area. They get around. No joke. Let's go. I think I want to go into one of these. Looks like these would be tombs. Check the upper lower first. Let's check the lower first. And why, where are you guys coming from? Why are people walking along this road? Nobody coming from here anymore. No, thank you. We got ourselves a couple lions. There's some lions out there, Jerry. Oh, 
And this is a way down. Tomb of Smenkade. Cracked walls. Beware all who would enter, for he lies Smenkahari. Living are the forms of Rei. Haven't heard much about this one. No snakes, right? <laughs> What's this? We give you honor, Meritaten, consort of the king of Upper and Lower Egypt, lower of the two lands, Ankahepurure, Smenke Kare, Jeser Kepur, Keperu. God, man, I don't speak this language, okay? Beloved of Aten, Ankahepurure, Neferneferuaten, daughter of Neferiti. Meritaten is our queen in this life and the next. My god, reading that is uh, something else. Well, let's light these up. Did I miss any in this room? It's just like it to, to be well lit for, you know, my ancestors. I don't think there's any braziers in here though. Preferred to dwell in darkness. And that's a long way down, so let's check this way first. This is white, the ornate sarcophagus. I mean, this is all gold plated. Man's was dripping out as hard as Bayek. <clears throat> Still wag to me that you can see better underwater. Oh, there's a wall here. bit of a maze carbon crystal I better not die down here I need to Find a way to air. Air? It's air. I don't know where we are, but. Oh. Ground is so smoggy. Counterweights. All right. <gasps> what does this do? might see what needs to happen it goes down slowly because I need to be able to do this uh oh
Now what? Well, damn. Well, that's all right, because I had to. I would have missed this room anyway. Second day of Paremhat. I cannot sleep. I cannot eat. There is only those who came before. I've taken my men, and we will not return. The paintings will never be finished. The inscriptions never written. For nothing will compare us to return to this God's forsaken place. It's a strange thing to say. Oh. Why did they forsake their God's place? That doesn't make much sense. I probably need to do the same thing here. Get it all the way down. Then fast as I can, make the jump. These are pre-lit. I don't know how I feel about that, yeah, but... They will attack on sight here. Wait a minute. What? They were pre-lit. Stay on your toes. Don't want any surprises. Could be. Right. Third day of Makir. We found something as we dug deeper today. I cannot describe it here, for when I try and think of it, my mind is filled with dreams and fragments that I do not understand. But it is obvious to me that this is no accident. Smekhak, Smekhikare chose this as his final resting place. Amundra, protect his name, our luminous eminence. Smenkik, Smenkhari, first of the true sons, herald of the ancients and venerated architect of the order. He who bade me gather the sacred rolls so he can watch them for eternity from the reed fields. Who, he who silences what is secret and guards what is unknown. Beware enemies of the order, for he will stand before the ones who came before and be judged worthy to worship and follow them. And so shall you fall. The ones who came before. Interesting how historically we would think that would mean, oh, the, you know, first kingdoms of Egypt. But in the game, that's probably the Isu, right? But just one, one thing I want to mention. This game makes these hard to read in some cases because of the typos. There's quite a few typos in these. Like most of these things have been saying Smenkahare. S M E N K H A R E. This one has. Where is it? S M E K H K A R E. Maybe that's a different person. But that. I. Based on the context of all of these, it should be the same. But I'll just say K H K. It's a little hard to pronounce. Let's get our tablet. 
ancient writing from the Old Kingdom. I don't know that I want to go down this way. What about over here? <laughs> you seek a do art. It goes all the way through. This is definitely not Egyptian architecture. I'll say that much. <laughs> I hope it's water. <laughs> uh, damn. They did a good job of making it hard to see with all the bubbles, which is like realistic, right? Oh, let's get oh, there's stuff on the other side. I'm stuff you could have missed Oh and something at the bottom I want all of it Got it all. Oh. Retransmission, segment four. Acquiring contemporaneity. It has been 99 days since the great catastrophe. The messenger speaks. Oh, this is Desmond killing himself. On the 21st day of December 2012, Desmond activated the global Aurora Borealis device and protected the Earth from the sun's deadly coronal mass ejection. On the 21st day of December 2012, humanity carried on without a care in the world. People went to work, people went to school, and people went to the well for water. On the night of December 21st, 2012, as the sun set on their days, humankind went to bed. Then on the morning of December 22nd, 2012, humankind was graced with yet another morning. They never knew that on the previous day, the world almost ended. We thought that would have been enough. And it was until it wasn't. Time is unyielding. It always corrects itself. The language of time works in many ways, two of which you can understand as you are now. Linear continuity is a simulation that allows for variations. Within the linear continuity, there are nodes, choke points, moments where algorithms converge the flows of superposed possibilities to a single moment where only one absolute truth is possible. They're using flowery language. I don't like it. Paths are fluid. Continuous. Nodes are static. 
changeless. Anybody got a spark notes for this? And the wave function collapses the paths into nodes which branch out. Again and again. And again. And so I wonder, can you feel the wave collapsing, trying to course correct Desmond's act of defiance? The incoming node needs the world to end. The algorithms have been carving the flow of possibilities towards that end for over 100 years now. It's not many years. What the fuck is this? A labyrinth of trenches filled with mud and mustard gas. Families cowering in fear as V2s vaporize their dwellings. Fire born from the bellows of the Los Alamos laboratory, fueling global catastrophes. Los Alamos? That's in Modern Warfare 2. The Serpikov 15 incident of 1983. The Doomsday Clock, tucked away in an office at the University of Chicago. It's needle moving as the years go. The node is near. Perhaps you knew. Perhaps you felt it too. And nodes are changeless. That the world is closing in on you. I'm sure there was something of decent substance in there, but for the most part, like I said, that was just flowery language. Kind of felt like their way of saying, hey, people didn't notice anything when Desmond saved the world. Also, by the way, some things change and some things are fate. They can't be changed. Nodes are fate. And the fate of the world is that it blows up at some point. It's been calculated over and over again. You know. They made that shit take like five minutes to say. I just did it in ten seconds. <laughs> Get on my level, Bethesda. <laughs> <laughs> mm, should we go get that island or this spot up here? Or both? <laughs> Maybe not both. I mean, let's go here, here, and then up here, and then over there. Yeah? I uh, like a plan. Wasn't it daytime when we went in there? Where's the moon? That's a very sun-like looking moon. Why is the moon yellow? Has that ever been a thing? Pretty sure there's never been a day in my lifetime where the moon's been yellow. You get eclipses and shit, but you don't get a yellow moon. It breaks my immersion. Oh, now it's looking a little less yellow. What happened? Now it looks fine. Oh, hey, 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 hey. It's all right, damn My need is great. Man just procced like three dialogue boy <laughs> lines. <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> Let's deal with this place. Treasure? Oh, wait, there's more than one. Where is it? Oh, over there? It was like most white over here, bro. I really do like that. It feels like they made the 
pickup range while you're swimming much larger than when you're on land. I think that's a good balance because I don't feel like the pickup range on land is horrible. It's not I wouldn't say it's great, but it's not horrible. All right, let's get up there. Sorry, buddy. Good luck with your ship. <laughs> oh, you should get off, by the way. Oh, in there, you're fine. Don't get on the ship again. I'm gonna make sure it doesn't look. That'll do it. Now you're stuck here with me. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was... <laughs> Uh-oh. Leopard layer. I don't think that's the layer. I think it's up here. Why is... Bruh, they put it in the wrong spot. That's pretty shit. I see we're now getting into the part of the game where they definitely put less effort into it. I don't know why. Like the map still looks good and everything, but it's like, why is your marker in the wrong place? Like, that's not where the leopard layer is. It's up there. <laughs> what are the odds by the time we're no longer in the leopard layer? Or that we aren't in it anymore when we get there. It might still have us be in it. Yup. Okay. Now, surprise attack. Is that gonna kill in one shot? Not even close! Oh, I did that because I thought it'd be like an assassination. Kill your leader. Back off. Okay, I'm running. I can just do that over and over and again, can I? <laughs> that doesn't really hurt them. What? It even gives them a chance to hit me. down there I mean we could ride through there but it doesn't look like the most traversable land also uh, don't go falling down cliffs watch where you're going Oh, 
Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh. Anybody who sees me there probably like what the fuck is that guy doing over there? There's nothing over there. There's literally just leopards Who the fuck would do that? <laughs> it is me Bayek of Siwa Whoa. Yeah. Thought I heard hooves. Whoa. Oh, it's a stone circle. Uh oh. Percy don't like this spot. Unfortunately. That's where I want to go. The scales stone circle. Looks like a house or a crab. It could be a crab. Those are the scales called Konsu. When we die, the goddess Ma'at weighs our hearts on them against her white feather. Remember this? If our hearts appear in light, we walk in the field of reeds. Very good. You are listening. The scales measure truth and justice, which is why Medjai pursue these two things above all others. Having a hard time finding this one. I feel like I've already been here. literally the scales <laughs> okay you know what i equipped the original armor that he wears because i thought it'd be like a more authentic experience but I feel like this armor looks more correct. I don't know why. It just seems like it. And now, oh, we were going to work our way up here. Camp of Katesh and Reshef. I went past this at one point. Just went around. Couldn't really tell. It's got an elephant, so... I don't know. <laughs> hmm. So technically, there's only this and that left in all of Forest Gnome. And only that's left in Fayum Oasis. And the only thing left in Fayum is this one boat. So three things, and we're done with almost the whole area. Where'd you go, horsey? Uh, Give me a ride.
Yeah, the horse riding movement really feels fluid. Whoa. Oh. Crocodiles. Yeah. The camel and the chariot, not so much. It's a shame. But the horse is really good. I'll give him that. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, those are strong tens. You can ride a horse over them. Whoa. Hello. Oh, am I not supposed to go in here? <gasps> Boom. Yeah, Don't care. Now. And I'm out of here. Oh, so this is a dam. Interesting. I suppose Crocodilopolis would flood otherwise. We're gonna go check out that pyramid. There was a papyrus puzzle around there too. I remember one talking about a, uh, the pyramid and something in front of it and something the, behind the thing that's in front of it. <laughs> you know, classic papyrus puzzle stuff. There's a camera there. Is this the right way? No, I want to stay on the road. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> Roman goats. Where's that papyrus puzzle? East of Crocodilopolis, south of the Shattered Pyramid, a large beast of a god stares angrily at a pharaoh who shows him no respect. I'm hidden behind the blasphemer's head. This is south of the pyramid. Maybe there's a... Wasn't too hard. <laughs> and now we explore the pyramid. Tomb of Amen. Oh, okay, I couldn't read that fast enough. Crazier. Oh, 
A lot of it's collapsed. This must be an old pyramid. No snake. Really feels like this could end up being snake territory. Warning unwary travelers, do not break the seal or the sands of time will consume you. Break the seal or the sands of time will consume you. I broke the seal. So what happened? Oh, it went down a little bit. So just need to break the other seal. And we're good to go. Didn't even have to go all the way down just enough to jump over and through Oh Release those in the image of him into the sacred pool on the third moon after the flood The ritual must continue for three days to honor Sobek Green of plume, watchful of face, raised of brow the raging one who came forth from the shank and tail of the great one who is in the sunshine. Honor them with bowls, revere them, worship them, for they are his servants on the silt banks. So this... Wait, what was the name of this place called? Amen... Amenemhat. Amenemhat the third. So he is Sobek. He is who they're worshipping. <gasps> And there are crocs in here I'll just you know not fight them I think that's the best way to oh shit you don't have a choice that didn't work Shit. Rue. Okay, stop locking on and climb something for fuck's sake. Oh, you can't. Shit. I think you're supposed to fight them. still coming can I use my power I was trying to do that for a while oh it has splash damage Oh, 
come on. There we go. Whew, quite the fight. I feel like there's something down in the water. This is the way. Ooh. Oh, the tablet's underwater? Ancient writing. Whack. From the old kingdom. Yeah, I'm sure you said that while underwater. The temple of Sobek himself. And they're still smuggling them here. Seeking the Bucktooth, the spoiler of the Black Sands and Ravager of Catfish, the Priestess Behen guides him through the Wadi. Whatever. Some of these feel like they don't matter too much. Is that a carbon crystal? Nice. Amenemehat the third arises as Sobek. The son of Nath eats with his mouth, urinates, copulates with his phallus. He is lord of seed, he who takes the women from their husbands wherever Am Amenemhat wants according to the desire of his heart. And I'm assuming I can climb him to get out of here. That what's going on here? Any lootables? No. Okay. <laughs> Where are we now? Whoa. Okay. Oh, there's a viewpoint on it. I didn't realize that. We got to go back for that viewpoint. Whoa. So these little grates on top. See down into the tomb itself. That's pretty cool. It's still it, it's bizarre though because I mean where Sobek was actually buried is way over there that second grate. So why even make the pyramid if that's not even where he is? I don't know. It's all like, like kind of strange. That's been kind of a consistent theme of these pyramids. It's just like yeah, we're gonna act like he's there, but actually he ain't <laughs> You know Good view Senu coming in to see the view from human's eye view. So what did we have left? There's obviously stuff down here, but that's an Uab gnome, which we will go to. I was actually planning on doing it before Huera's gnome, 
power arsenal but uh we had that quest taking us to fort Ubasto, so it just felt like it made sense to keep going oh hey oh that's that ship uh i think we ought to go hmm that's probably gonna be like a hyena layer or something that would be my guess um but i think we'll explore the last bits of Fayum in the next episode we'll hit that we'll hit that and we'll hit Hmm. Actually, I think that's it. <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> and we could go up into Apepehunom after that, but I think we'll go down into Uap. Which... There's stuff to do there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight locations and a quest. So... Probably take a couple, one or two episodes down there. Um, but yeah, that's where we'll leave it for episode 61 of Assassin's Creed Origins. So, um, once again, I'm really enjoying this game. Uh, you know, I mean, we're doing so. I feel like I'm doing everything in the game. I'm not going to do 100% because that involves more than just you know you could do everything in the game and that's not 100 percenting you know it, it, there's even more i don't like doing the even more i just like doing everything in the game if it's a game i'm enjoying and this one i've been enjoying a ton so um we're gonna probably end up doing everything which means uh there's by the way there's two dlcs I think we hit on this earlier, but, uh, they don't look that small even, like, I, you can't look at the map for them, but I think we're gonna have a lot more to do with those, so I, I we're like halfway through the series at this point, May, maybe further, maybe less, I don't know, but I'm enjoying where it's taking me, and that's all that matters, so, anyway, thank you for subscribing and hitting that bell button, and as always, have a great day.